vectors in R2 and R3. So now we have two communication questions to prepare you for the test. C4. Find the terminal points of a vector 4 minus 5 0 if the initial points are 2 pi minus 1. Try to answer this question. And question number 5 is C5. Find a point not on the y-axis that is equidistant from the points 2, minus 1, 1 and 0, 1, 3. So once you've answered these questions, you can look into my suggestion. Now C4. It's a communication question, so you should also explain how you're doing. Find the terminal points of a vector 4, 5, 0. So that is a vector, correct? So it is a vector from, let's say, one point to the other. If the initial point is given to you, so let's say the vector is A to B, and vector A to B is equal to 4 minus 5 and 0, whose initial points are, like shown here, 2 pi minus 1. So we need to find these points. So these are the points B. Let's call them B1, B2, B3 as the three components of the point B, right? So this is your A and that is B. So what is AB? AB is B minus A, right? So what we can do is we do B1 minus 2 B2 minus pi, B3 minus 1, minus of minus 1, so it becomes plus 1. So that is AB, right? And this, you say, is equal to 4 minus 5, 0. So I've written it in the column matrix form. It gives you a good visual look, and that's why I really prefer it. And now from here, you can solve what B1 should be, what B2 should be, and what B3 should be, right? So from here we can get our solution and we'll say, well, B1 should be, so B1 minus 2 is 4. That means B1 is 6. B2 should be how much? Now this is where sometimes there could be a confusion. Pi. Pi is a real number. And therefore, we can use it on R3 r3 set of real numbers. So b2 is minus 5 plus pi, so we can write plus pi minus 5. And b3 is equal to, if I want to make this 0, b3 should be minus 1, right? b3 plus 1 should be 0. That means b3 is minus 1. And that's how we get our point, right? And so we can write down our answer that the point b is 6 that is B1, pi minus 5, and minus 1 along the z-axis, right? I hope you understand how to find the points when you are given the vector. So we have our initial and the terminal point here. C5, find a point not on y-axis that is equidistant from these two points. Well, the midpoint will always be equidistant. So let's try to find what the midpoint is. So midpoint will be sum of these divided by 2. So 2 plus 0 divided by 2, minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2, and 1 plus 3 divided by 2. And this point happens to be 1, this is 0, 4 by 2 is 2. Now, you have to only check whether this point lies on y-axis or not. So it does not really lie on the y-axis, right? Now, y value is 0. So, where does it lie? It will lie on which plane? It will lie on x, z plane, right? And therefore, our answer is the point equidistant from the given point is, let's say, point P, which is 1, 0, 2. That's, that's how you have to do these questions. Thank you.